Now, as Maryland takes more steps to get every resident vaccinated, the problem continues to be the shortage of the actual vaccines. But once we have the shots needed, Governor Hogan says Maryland is going to be ready to go. He spent the day touring two mass vaccination sites, one the Timonium Fairgrounds and then the Baltimore Convention Center. He says these two sites can help the state's vaccination efforts tremendously. We're building this infrastructure so that when they uh, manufacture and allocate and get us those vaccines, then we're ready to really ramp things up. And the governor also toured a facility in Baltimore that really could be a game changer. Workers already making thousands of doses of the new Johnson & Johnson vaccine candidate there. That vaccine now awaiting federal approval for emergency use by the public. WJC investigator Mike Hogan live for us at the Emergent Biosolutions vaccine plant down in southeast Baltimore. And he's got his own tour and actually spoke to the head of manufacturing. Mike, we have to know, what did you learn? What was it like inside? Nicole, Rick, I got to tell you, they're doing life changing work here. And the governor has said this is work that will change lives around the world. Right now, they're waiting for that FDA approval. The FDA meets on February 26th, so we may not be that far off. Inside these nondescript buildings in Baltimore, people are racing day and night in the fight to vaccinate America. This is the bioreactor, the heart of a unique facility in southeast Baltimore where workers will make the coronavirus vaccines that could save thousands of lives across the country. We actually grow the cell cultures, infect them with the viral vectors, and then ultimately purify the viral vectors out, which elicit an immune response in humans. Emergent Biosolutions granted WJZ rare access to this secure campus in Bayview. In this room, employees are suited up, and inside these tanks, they'll make the long-awaited Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We have a significant opportunity to potentially save tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of lives over the coming months. Sean Kirk is the vice president in charge of manufacturing. I mean, do you ever stop and think how important this is to the health of people around the world? Yeah, ab absolutely. I mean, every day our folks are working many, many long hours to beat this pandemic. And the thing that keeps them motivated is the fact that uh, we are going to be producing hundreds of millions of doses over the coming year. The company has a $480 million contract with Johnson & Johnson and another $174 million contract with AstraZeneca and will produce both of their vaccines. We're doing our best for everybody. Be patient. And they can't come soon enough with people across the country frustrated at vaccine shortages. You can't get an appointment. You can't buy an appointment. So what are we going to do? The Johnson & Johnson vaccine requires only a single shot and no special super cold freezers. You can get a shot of the J&J, &J and you know, 10, 14 days later, you're already starting to have a substantial amount of protection. Listen to how one of Governor Hogan's top advisors describes it. The authorization of this vaccine could be a game changer. What does this mean for the, to the people of Baltimore, that, that so much of this vaccine is being produced right here in Baltimore City? You know, I want the people of Baltimore to be proud of the fact that emergency here, to be proud of the fact that many of the residents work in this facility. About 300 people are working around the clock here at this facility. Kirk tells WJZ they're ready for the federal government to green light the public's emergency use of Johnson & Johnson. It could take several weeks for the FDA to review results from the clinical trials. If and when that happens, what happens here? Does anything change? Nothing changes. I mean, we are wide open in manufacturing. Johnson & Johnson and AstraZeneca representatives are on site at Bayview, and Kirk says the highest safety standards are being followed. The accelerated timelines have not in any way jeopardized the safety that we build into these products from the very beginning. The sterile bags lining the tanks can easily be changed out, so there's flexibility to make booster shots or whatever else is needed. At its facility across town, in the shadow of the stadiums, Emergent has signed a deal to manufacture lenzilumab, a possible treatment for COVID-19. There's also a tremendous amount of work in the, in the fight of this battle behind the scenes in facilities like ours and other facilities in the industry to make sure that collectively we beat this pandemic. The front lines in the COVID-19 battle right in our own backyard. Now, the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is 57% effective against the South African variant. We know we have at least three cases of that in Maryland. It may seem low, but in a typical year, the flu vaccine is just 40 to 60% effective. So it's still very good. Reporting live in Bayview, Mike Helgren, WJZ.